Kia ora. Today we're going to talk about bird bands, why they're important, as well as how you can record and submit some bands that you see. Bird bands are a permanent marking technique that allows us to keep track of individual birds. In New Zealand, bird banding is coordinated by the Department of Conservation and every bird is given a unique ID that's engraved on a metal band. Banding provides invaluable information that allows us to study a species' survival, as well as breeding success, population changes, behaviour and dispersal. At Zealandia, we can use this information for various research projects, as well as it being a critical aspect to our monitoring. The banded species that we're actively monitoring at Zealandia have a combination of coloured bands as well as the metal band with the unique ID on it. This combination and positioning of the colour and metal bands lets us identify the individual without having to physically catch the bird and read the engraved identification number. In our parrot species, so the kakariki and kaka, there are a total of three bands, one of which is a coloured metal band with the ID on it. In our passerine species that we're monitoring, uh, including hihi, titipunamu, korimako and totoai, there are a total of four bands. These are three colours and one metal. Any time a bird is sighted that has bands, the band combination can be added to our database. The more information we get, the better we can understand these species. Some individuals are rarely sighted, so it's important to always assume that the sighting that you've got is valuable. Now for some tips about reading bands. It's a good idea to have a pair of binoculars with you or a camera with a good zoom lens. Bird bands are always read from the left leg first, top to bottom, followed by the right leg, top to bottom. A common mistake is people reading the from their left and not the bird's left, so always remember it's theirs first. We often have a brief window of time to observe a bird, so it's a good idea to snap a photo if you can, otherwise record down what you were able to see. A photo is a handy tool because it gives us the option of looking back more closely later on, kind of like using an instant replay in sports. Colours can look quite different in different lighting, so it's important to keep watching as the bird moves around and changes position. They may come closer to you and you might be able to get a better view. If you're unsure of some colours, but more certain of others, it's a good idea to write down the ones that you know with confidence, as well as the ones that are more of an impression. We can later on check these sightings alongside our database, so we are still able to use partial observations and can deduce the actual ID from this in some cases. As birds may come and go as we watch, it's important to never assume it's the same individual returning. Sometimes a similar coloured individual will be mistaken for one that we already saw and will go unnoticed. You're now all set to head out and start practicing your band reading skills. You'll be able to see some of our banded birds from trails around the valley as well as at the feeders. Remember to give the wild birds their space and never follow the birds off track. Happy sighting!